All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is a new week on the creek. It's our second week in September, and it is Metabolic Conditioning Month, in case you haven't heard. But there's something more important we're going to talk about first. I need you to think about the person that you care about the most, the person that you love the most, the person that you want the best for them, and you know that they're not getting that. And I want you to find that person. And I want you to get real close to them. Get real tight and say, look, next week is Bring a Friend Week at Fairwinds CrossFit. And you need this? So come try it. So Friends of Fairwinds Week, Bring a Friend, Monday through Saturday, all of next week, they get a free week of CrossFit. What I need beforehand is the person's name, phone number, email address, so I can set them up in the system. And they can have a waiver and all that good stuff. And um, yeah, get their butts to the gym. Get them to experience this thing that you probably talk about all the time. Get them in, let them get a feel for it themselves. And maybe, just maybe, they'll decide they want to stick around after that week. So A, if they do so, you've not only changed someone's life for the better, which I think we can all agree is what happens when you come here. You change your life for the better. But don't forget that we have our referral program that we just implemented a month ago, last month, August, what month is it? September. For every person that signs up, so that comes, goes through foundation, signs up for a membership, you get $100 and they sign up for that membership, you get yourself. So you get yourself $100 and they get $100 off their first invoice. All right, so we're changing people's lives, we're putting money back in the bank, investing in our futures, healthy, happy, successful lives so make sure you do that if you have any questions about it let me know but uh yeah other than that get them in get them signed up and let's have some fun this that week this week well every week and uh if you're worried about programming like oh what if it's a something that's a little much for someone that's never done this before don't worry about it the program is going to be it's going to complement those of us that have been doing it for a long time and those of us that are getting in it for the first time Okay, I'm not going to throw a one rep max snatch at somebody that week. Okay, I'm not going to throw on 30 muscle ups for time. Even though we all know workouts are scalable based on someone's fitness and skill level, either way, this whole week is going to be geared toward getting the people we know, love, and care about into the gym and getting them to enjoy fitness and this community we've built together. So, Friends of Fairwinds, next week. Monday the 19th through Saturday the 24th, full week of CrossFit. Any more questions, hit me up. Now getting into the week, this week itself, this week of workouts, we are playing with, again, Metabolic Conditioning Month. So every CrossFit workout has some form or another of metabolic conditioning. These ones are just going to hit a little bit different this month. A, because we're really focusing on it, and B, um, we're playing with a bunch of different time domains, different layouts, um, different ways of kind of hitting that stimulus. So you'll see starting on Monday, you have five five-minute rounds that you're going to repeat five times of um, workouts where we're going for big sets and getting the work done fast. So fast, big sets. You'll see calories on the bike, hang power cleans, burpees over the bar, lunges. The prescribed weight on these are 135.95. So again, what we want to make sure is we are scaling this to something that we can get big sets in. So you should be able to do these reps unbroken. That's the idea. And so it's it's going fast and it's getting big sets done. We're pushing that anaerobic threshold. We're getting ourselves up to a higher place where we can hang on to stuff longer. There is, as soon as you finish, you get to rest. And so we're spiking and then coming down, spiking and then coming down, spiking the heart rate and then coming down. So playing with that. Now again, tomorrow is a long workout. This weekend, we have a long workout. The middle of the week, we're going to balance that out with some shorter workouts and a nice heavy day. And so if you're looking ahead at the week, we have our, so we on Tuesday, we have a nice heavy day. So we're going to go long, high intense Monday, slow things down a little bit for a bench press on Tuesday. We don't bench press often, but when we do, it's something special. Seven sets of three. So we're going to a little bit higher rep scheme. Um, seven sets of three, building to a heavy set of three. Then we're getting to some push jerks, chest of bars, and sumo death of high pulls on Wednesday. Five rounds for time. This one's going to be a little bit quicker. Again, not a 20 to 25 minute thing. Um, but the lighter barbell, 
being able to cycle through that in quick, fast sets. A longer one on Thursday, so we're going to do a 12-minute, more medium, 12-minute AMRAP with a row and some front squats. Friday, a nice little chipper, 50 toes to bar, run, 30, devil de 30 deadlifts, 30 hang power cleans, 30 press push presses, all with dumbbells. Friday, box jumps, hand release, push-ups. So, I'm sorry, that was Friday. Saturday, 10 rounds for time. Again, this one's going to be a little bit longer. 12 box jump overs, 12 hand release push-ups. We're moving and grooving. So, again, a fun week. I just kind of laid it out there for you. Um, but all you need to focus on is really, when we're getting all into this, really focus on scaling for the intended stimulus. Don't worry about whether or not you went RX. Don't worry or not worry about you went scaled. I don't want to hear the comment, hey, what was your time today? Oh, it was 9.07, but I scaled. Get but I scaled out of the conversation. Get that out of your head. Don't know but I scaled. If you, if I said this workout should be done in eight to 10 minutes and you finished in nine minutes and two seconds, you nailed it. The intended stimulus is more important than whether or not you went RX or whether or not you scaled. Okay, so when I, if, when I ask you your score that day, tell me what you got and don't worry about saying, but I scaled, okay? Maybe you said I used a green band on the pull-ups. Maybe you went lighter on the, on the load. So maybe you say 902, but I, 902, and I used 95 pounds, not 92, 902, but I scaled to 95 pounds. So again, don't think of, but I scaled. It's not an excuse. It's not a, it's not anything that you should be, feel any less about. If you hit the nail on the head in the stimulus, I said between eight to 10 minutes, you hit at 902. That's what we're looking for. That's what's going to get you optimal fitness. I could say, you know, you, you did scale, but go ahead and do it RX. Um, Cause I, you know, scaling, it's more important to go RX. Well then that workout might turn into a 15 minute workout. Sure. You got it done. Sure. You got some fitness, but did you get the optimal fitness that we're looking for? Did you get everything out of that? What we're looking for. So again, with the focus this week met in the month, metabolic conditioning scale to allow you to move large loads, long distances quickly, quickly. So that means not a lot of standing around. Not a whole lot of resting. It means getting big sets in, taking a quick breath, and then picking it up and going again. So this is one where going lighter on a workout or scaling a movement might actually mean it's going to hurt more. It's going to feel more intense because you can go faster and because you can keep getting at it. So, sorry, I feel like I just went on a soapbox there. And I shouldn't be standing in a lot of soapboxes. I need bigger boxes than that, like plyo boxes. So... This week, metabolic conditioning month. Um, this week, metabolic conditioning month. Focus on the stimulus. Remember when we went back and did RX month a few months ago? We didn't put weights up. We didn't put, you know, we sometimes we didn't even put reps up. It was a can you hit the intended stimulus? What is going to get you there? Let that be your mindset going into these workouts. Other than that, hey, it's another fun week on the creek. We're going into week two of September. Fall is right around the corner. And Bring a Friend Week is a week away. You're going to hear me talk about it all week and hear other coaches talk about it. Make sure you, if you have any questions, talk to Sarah, Grace, Mary. And if you had not had a chance yet, if you haven't met Ariel yet, another coach who is currently in training, who we'll start seeing on the schedule at the end of the month, you'll start seeing her in some of the 930 classes and working out with her husband, Colin, at 530 and her beautiful family, three kids. Awesome. So get to know Ariel a little bit. You'll start hearing more about her. And uh, man, so many cool things happening on the creek. I'm so excited to have you guys here with us. This is going to be great. See you on the creek.